bopped. Bopped into the next dimension, fuckers. Does this just lead back? It does. Okay. Well, I could see this being like a little lower area for the little like area I'm gonna make. This is cute. Alright. And this leads out into the ravine, doesn't it? It does. Nope. Aimed at you before you aimed at me. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, I see where this leads out. Where's the waterfall? It's over there, isn't it? Yeah, that's the upper area. Okay. Cool. So I really could bridge this piece, like this whole place together really well and like make it all lead into each other and make different access points for different things. Um, yeah, this place is really useful. I've never had a ravine so useful. Like it's never had a uh, spawner in it before for me so you know there's always something new to try in minecraft that's what's awesome about starting new worlds every other time oh there's so much iron in this area now again like more stuff to explore come on i already know i place a torch but i'm gonna place more i really don't want this lower area being like monster prone oh man there's so much coal <laughs> oh let's offhand this one so let's um and then let's offhand this i'm just trying to heal all my stuff keep it up to date you know <laughs> i'm trying to like offhand it There we go. Keep it all repaired, why not, you know? Hell yeah. Keep it all off-handed. Yeah. Okay, um, let's just put a torch down there and then block it off like this. I normally don't like doing that, but... Um, but let's not make an exception. Okay, there's some coal over here that I've been looking at for a while. Yeah, see this next big stack of coal can be for this, um, I guess I should call it like a laboratory, like a little area I can use for um, mining expeditions again, and my XP grind, it like leads to the XP grinder, it can do other things. Yeah, I think I'll call it that for now, let's call it like the underwater lab. Um, or just underground in general, I guess. Um, so we can put that in there, and then we have extra now, so holy crap. Uh, we can cook some of this iron, and then we don't need half the stuff, but I have it on me anyway. I meant to go file it away in the, um, warehouse, but that's kind of annoying to do on camera, because I gotta sit there and open, close, open, close, open, close a whole bunch of chests. Um, I want to label things, but like, I think there's a limit of signage in the world, isn't there? I don't know if you can have a limit. Ooh, creeper. I don't have many arrows left, so I kind of want to like stay away from shooting so many things. And that area is still dark. There's so many dark areas in this cave, ravine. Um, let's start building this place up. So, easiest way would be keep the dirt for a different project. That's for filling in. These special blocks can stay over here because I'm never going to collect enough. Cobblestone is what I need. So let's cook cobblestone. And I need a door. I'm going to put a door right there. Flip this way. And run this way. And we're going to have to go to the warehouse. Um, I no longer have a lot of building materials up there. I moved it all. So let's kind of transfer it over to this little warehouse. There we go. Um, yeah, we already have like two or three rows full of stuff, so it's going to be really cool to just go through here. Oh, yeah, see? Okay, but first let's grab stone brick, because we need the refined version already. There we go. And then let's grab some of this. The unrefined. And then let's put some of this other stuff away. I know, like... See, I'm gonna have to like open all this crap anyway. Let's 
We can put this in with that. I can use some dark oak in that area. Why not? Let's make it like nice looking. <laughs> Freaking chest, like a chest symphony. You know, that would be a good idea. Maybe one of those. Where did I just see it? Gosh. I can never tell where I just saw what I just had. Carry half a stack. Well, hold on. Carry it by sixes, so. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. There we go. Um, just in case. And then I think the... There it is. First leaves. Hi, how are ya? You wanna hang out in the warehouse for the night? Go ahead. <laughs> it's old and dusty. Just kidding, it's brand new. Um Ooh, slimy boy. <gasps> Hi, how are ya? Come with me. Come here, little slime. Come on. Flop. Flop. You flop so slowly. Come on. Come on, slime. Can I lead a slime? Is that a thing? I'm curious. We're testing things out here in Minecraft and learning. Yeah, yeah, bear. Slime. Can I lead you? Oh, I guess you can't lead what you are, I guess. It is made of slime. Come on. Faster. If I could keep a pet slime, that'd be cool. But I doubt it. He might despawn. True. Shouldn't get too attached. Uh-uh. Go away. Hurry, slime. Hurry. No. Slime, hurry. I want to talk my villager. Oh. Come here. Yeah. Jump in here. Yeah. There we go. Hi, slimy. Cute. How cute. Um, hi, welcome to the farm. I'm gonna be going now, though. No. <laughs> meh, meh, meh. Okay. Got him. I wish I had mending on my sword. That would help, but... Don't really have that, so oh well. No luxury of that. You know, I think I can keep that slime if I just rename it, don't I? Yeah, I think that's I. That's how it kind of works in Minecraft. You rename a lot of things, you can keep it. So let's actually get a name tag. <laughs> this is just going to be the naming session. I'm like naming everything. I mean, I have name tags ahoy. This isn't even the last three I have. I have more in the little fishing dock. So, oh, this is getting broken a little bit. Um... His name's going to be QB. There we go. All right. Yeah, Peptus. Um, I don't have a name for that villager yet, so someone wants to name him. Comment whenever. There you go. Hi, QB. <laughs> Now he has a name. 
Um, actually, I do collect this flesh for trading because I know some villagers like or villagers like to trade. So let's put that in there. Um, I just realized I have ten feathers in my inventory because I was walking around and um, trying to find I don't know whatever. I was getting fish and I got that bear and then I collected all these feathers from killing chickens. Um, so thank you, looting sword. You help a little bit. You make it a faster process. Oh, I have it all down there. I totally just ran it. See, I'm going to be doing that once in a while where I run up here thinking I still have everything up there, but that's just the house now. That's where I sleep. Um, over here is where I'm going to have my flint. Yeah, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. And make 10 of these. Yes. That's going to be 40 arrows for me. That helps replenish a lot of my arrows. Um, what was I going to do on camera as well? I think I want, yeah, I was obviously going to work on that. Um, I need the doors that I wanted. So let me go grab those. There we go. And, um, I want this one. And let's do this one. Cool. Um, do we have... There's this. These can go back. Um, these go with the animals. Oh, uh, let's see. What was I going to do? I know I have... Oh, I could put one of these up. Let's see. Oh, no. Hold on. Lock that one off. I'll go like this. Cool. I guess it's like a magical one. Whoa. That's crazy looking. I guess we'll keep it. <laughs> it looks really cool. Um, Alright. I think we're good. I think I want to make a button real quick. So, button. Let's do a stone button. Oh, does it have to be? Er, it has to be one block of stone, of course. It's all right. That shouldn't take too long to cook. Just got to wait for it to cook. Let me open some Bepis. Yeah. Celebrate. Making some cool progress on our world. We have new pets, new people. new. It's like no longer lonely living on this little area of my um swamp slash plain slash like i don't know my biomes my biomes are weird okay stone and then one little thingy makes a stone button cute all right let's run down here <laughs> sometimes it's <gasps> no he's getting what is this the walking dad get the fuck out of here no leave him alone no way. Losers. They can go eat someone else's flesh. Okay. Um. Let's jump back down here. Now, I wanted to do something really cool with this dock. I had this idea. Instead of just doing a water elevator like that, where anything can just go whoosh, and then just end up on the outside, like in my little area... I was thinking, why don't we secure it a little bit more? I always have to check when I'm down here, because um, sometimes I come down here and there's like random zombies. I'm like, what the fuck? I think it's because they come from the ravine or they came from that dark area, but I don't know. It's different now. So, um, let's... What did I want to make this area? Okay, let's make this one the wood door. But I think it has to be like this. Yeah, like that. And then, um, hmm, how are we gonna do this? I think we should switch this up like this. So let's go further back with this wall. And then let's get rid of this without tearing out every single piece of dirt possible. There we go. I have to like just subtly click once. There we go. 
Um, can we make this face the other way though? Let me see. No, it's not gonna work. It wants to face that way. But I also think it's because this block is acting like it's a holder. So if I did this, it's probably gonna act differently. No. No. It's raining out there. Oh yeah, we got it. 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 Okay. Um so now let's see. Um <laughs> 